do you want to use a Linux distribution that has all of the proprietary blobs removed from the Linux kernel? Do you want a Linux distribution that is mostly, if not 100% free software? And I mean, none of those proprietary bits of software or drivers to get your district to work on any modern bit of technology. No, you have a machine that can take 100% non-proprietary blobs. And on top of it, you want to use Ubuntu? Well, do I have the distro for you? TreeSquill 11 is out. And this distribution is 100% free and 100% freeware. Priority blobs, it has been uh, removed. So this thing is fully open source. And best of all, it's based on Ubuntu. Now, this distribution, of course, comes with uh Marte out of the box and we're gonna take a look at it now i've saved you the pain of having to watch me install another ubuntu based distribution so i've just gone ahead and installed the os as well as i've run the updates so we're gonna take a look now so the first thing i have to say i like the little bit of stylishness they've got going on here uh you know it's a bit bland but the nice thing about it is it's straight it's to the point Nothing to interrupt uh, you or catch your eyes, especially if you get distracted by all pretty things uh, nicely. So this is 1.26 version of Mate. And looking here, of course, internet, they have the A browser, web browser. Right, which of course, if we go to A browser, is this looks like a browser that of course has been recompiled specifically uh for tree squirrel so i would take it that it is fully uh, open source here and uh let's just yeah, taking a look seems to load fine um and of course this is a definitely a firefox based uh browser so yeah there you go and i would suspect that add-ons and themes and that type of thing should work fine so interestingly enough though uh if you're trying to get plugins it will take you out the box to gnuzilla which of course uh for the uh, ensuring that your plugins and stuff are uh free and uh not uh proprietary so nice actual feature onto that i must I'm, i must admit actually that's pretty cool um okay so let's uh just look here, no additional settings. And uh, it will take you to the Triscoil uh, wiki there. So let's close that. Um, I must admit though, if I was starting a company or something or just wanted a machine and I was going somewhere and I was worried about licenses or stuff and I had a machine that would work, I would use uh, something like uh, this if my hardware supported it. Uh, so, I starve mail. Okay, this looks like a recompiled edition of the Thunderbird. Of course, in this case, all the branding and everything like Firefox has been removed. Uh, and then, of course, uh, as well, there's transmission, remote desktop, uh, Liferia, Jammy, which is a privacy orientated communication. Uh, platform really enjoy looking at something like this because you never know what you're gonna
and as we can see here it is still using kernel 5.15 so uh, it's two LTS uh, versions ago and uh, the rest of which of course just confirming what uh, we are running um, let's uh, look at HTOP okay, also not installed so we'll take a look at that now and interestingly to know that this distribution uses its own uh, repo which of course uh, makes sense you wouldn't want to uh, risk uh, repos mixing repos up with a another distro that has a possibly proprietary or non-open source software such as ubuntu okay looking here memory usage is fantastic only 618 megs processor usage is doing practically nothing this is very great uh, to see that so great performance so nothing weird or dodgy going on there uh and of course carrying on here and accessories the usual mate uh, additional applications and uh, there's a viewer called pdf arranger and and the other of course uh marty system monitor which of course we don't need to look uh, back in time is a simple backup solution or to just restore your system to a previous state and then they have add remove applications which is a nice fast and simple application manager why more distributions don't have simple and fast software managers i don't understand it but this this is just brilliant simple straight and basic and to the point no additional unneeded uh, recommendations or packages or ads or stuff to slow your machine down just simple click on the category and get to the point uh, which i think is pretty awesome uh, but again, of course, there's going to be less absolute than compared to a more mainstream uh, distribution, which is just uh, the nature of it. So let's uh, take a look at something here, something to install. So I'll just go to internet and I'll just grab something random. So it's just a deluge. Uh, let's install that. And of course, this is essentially, of course, just Synaptic Package Manager in the background here. But uh, I really like uh, the way it operates. So let's see the delusion store. Yes, it did. Great. Um, places, just the normal computer options, nothing there. Preferences, hardware, pretty much the same type of thing. Uh, look and feel, it's going to be the same here. Um, smart hit tweak option if you want. So how do you want to have the interface? You could have uh, different layouts if you wanted, um, etc. Smart hit user manager, great, uh, simple user manager which uh, some uh, times yeah. okay and then carrying on of course control panel which is the same thing as all of these and uh, they have different uh, themes you can apply the dark theme as well it actually looks pretty nice so folks um incredibly quick speedy uh no weird services going on or anything like that. Not that distributions don't really have those, but if you have a piece of kit and you really want to keep to the free and open source uh, ideals and you have hardware that supports it um, and you don't need uh, certain bits of software, why not? Uh, fast, pleasant to use, uh, not to eye-catching anything, gets out of the way and lets you do what you need to do. Why not use this? Folks, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.